Hello. In this video, we will discuss how to insert links to external web pages and files to your JISD website. To get started, let's log into the SOC system. Enter your JISD login information and continue by clicking Sign In. Once you are logged in, click on the My Staff Pages button in the Articles menu. On the My Staff Pages menu, select your Teacher Web Page and select Edit Article. This is the Article Editor. From this page, you can edit the content of your page and make changes that people visiting your page can see. At the top of the page is the basic article information. This area includes the headline, tagline, byline, and your name as the author. This is the SOX toolbar. This is where we will find the tools we need to edit our page. Below the toolbar, you will find your article. This is the space that you can edit that will show up when people select your page. Today, let's take a look at how to add links to files. You can use this tool to make documents available to parents or students. This might include copies of handouts or other teacher-created content that you want visitors to have access to. To get started, add some text that will link to the file that you're going to attach and highlight it. In the toolbar, click the icon for Add a File. This will open a file browser. You can select any file that is listed on your computer. Common examples are Word, Excel, or PowerPoint files. Select the file you wish to upload and click Open. Sox will upload your file and create a link. You will notice that the link text you created is now highlighted. Now we need to check and make sure the link is working correctly. Scroll back to the top of the page and select the Preview Staff Page button. This will cause a new window to open that previews your article or web page. Don't worry if the page looks like this. It's only a preview. We will see the final page later in this tutorial. On the preview page, you will notice that your file link is now highlighted and clickable. Click on the link. Your file should download and appear at the bottom of your screen. Click the file and open to make sure that it is correct. If it is, congrats! You have successfully added a file to your web page. If not, return to the editor and double check that you uploaded the correct file. Once you have made all the changes to your page, Make sure you click the Submit Article button at the top of the page. This ensures that your changes are saved and ready for visitors to your website. Let's take a look at the final product to make sure that it looks how we want. Find the page you are working on and select View Article. We can now see what our final page looks like and make one last check that our links are working correctly. If you have any further questions on setting up external links, please contact the technology office and we will be happy to help. Thanks and have a great day.